The truth is that transforming your finances doesn't happen through one giant event. There are actually small, simple habits that you can start implementing today that can completely transform the way you use and relate to money. That's why in today's video, I'll be covering 12 money habits you can start implementing in 2023. So we've got a lot to cover. Let's get right into it. The first habit is changing your money mindset. And I'm covering this one first because even if you do all 11 habits that I'm gonna be covering, but you don't change your money mindset, you'll still run into issues down the line. How you think about money is likely the result of your childhood and young adult experiences. So for example, if you had parents, guardians, or mentors who just drilled it into you that money is scarce, that taking risks with money should be avoided, and that money shouldn't be spent, then whether or not you realize it, you're probably still dealing with the remnants of those teachings today. It's important to get rid of the poverty mentality and shift your mindset into a thinking of abundance. So stop focusing on what you don't have and instead think of all the possibilities that you could achieve. And when you surround yourself with positive people and you work hard and you're consistent, then the mindset shift will happen. The next habit is to start keeping separate bank accounts. So instead of having just one checking and one savings account, create a separate account that you use to pay bills. So these would be mandatory bills and expenses such as rent, utility bills, and you can even go with debt repayment on this account. You can set up automatic transfers from your primary checking account into this bill account if you already know the monthly cost of your bills. That way you don't have to remember to go in and manually transfer the money. But even if you decide not to do automatic transfers, this strategy is really helpful, especially if you struggle with overspending and not having enough money to cover your essential bills. Separating out your money into this bill account will ensure that you will definitely have enough money each month to cover these core expenses. On top of that, another type of bank account which you could open is a high yield savings account, which actually brings me to my next habit, which is don't let this year pass you by without opening a high yield savings account. These are excellent accounts to house your emergency fund and your sinking funds. This is because banks that offer high yield savings accounts provide an interest rate that is 20 to 25 times the national average interest rate. This means that you can earn passive income simply by keeping your money in these accounts. And if you're looking for a deeper dive into what high yield savings accounts are, or you're wondering about the top five high yield savings accounts, well, check out the description box below because I'll leave links to videos that I did covering these topics. The next tip is to check your bank balances daily. And if you have banking apps, then this activity can probably take you less than five minutes a day. And it's something that's really easy to do in the evenings as you're unwinding. Take a moment to scan through your accounts and your most recent transaction history, looking for anything that's out of the ordinary. And to be honest, you probably won't find anything, but this is a great habit to start being consistent with so that when you do see something that's wrong, you can quickly address the problem before it becomes worse. The next tip is to try incorporating no spend days or weeks into your month. So especially if you find that you shop a lot or you've just had a lot of excessive spending, then incorporating no spend days or weeks can be a great way to reel yourself back in. So at the beginning of the month, set a couple of no spend days and then when the time comes on those days, instead of shopping, spend that time reading, exercising, or just checking up with family and friends. The next tip is to plan out your meals and meal prep. Meal prepping is one of my absolute favorite things to do because it saves me so much time during the busy work week. So no more starting to cook from scratch when I finish work. It's just a matter of simply reheating my meals and starting from there. Meal prepping saves you money because you are planning out what you're going to make for that week so you don't end up overspending at the grocery store and buying too much food and being wasteful. 
And while we're on the topic of food, the next tip is to pack your snacks for travel. And this applies to both road trips and air travel, but especially air travel because we all know airport food is notoriously overpriced. So when I fly, I like to pack things like carrots, apples, celery sticks, chips, things of that nature, so that I don't have to buy anything while I'm at the airport. And for road trips, I like to pack things like bottled iced coffee and sandwiches, which really helps along the journey. Quick interruption here, leave a comment below and tell me how you're going to be saving money in 2023. And also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I upload personal finance content every week. The next tip is to download cashback apps. And there are a bunch of different apps that you can use, but my personal favorite and one I keep going back to a lot is called Fetch Rewards. And I love this app because it's so simple and easy to use. All you have to do is once you're done shopping, you take a picture of your receipt within the app and you'll earn at least 25 points per receipt that you snap. But you do have the potential to earn more points just depending on what types of items that you buy. And then with the points that you're earning, you can redeem those points for gift cards to retailers like Starbucks, Amazon, and a bunch more. So if you want to download the app, I'll put the referral code on the screen right now, and I'll also leave it in the description box below. And when you use this referral code, you'll earn 2,000 points when you snap your first receipt. The next 2023 money habit is to be consistent with your budget. And this applies to both the creation of your budget and the updating of your budget. Being consistent in creating your budget will help you in planning out how you want to use your money. And being consistent in updating your budget will show you how well you are sticking to the plan that you set out for yourself. That way you can see if you need to make any adjustments. And also this doesn't have to be a huge time commitment each week. Start by setting aside 10 to 20 minutes to update your transactions in your Excel budget spreadsheet or if you're using an app to do it in that manner. And that way you can see if you need to make adjustments for the upcoming week. The next tip is to sell items that you no longer need. So when my family was moving across the country a couple years ago, this is something that we did and we ended up earning about $1,000 in just four weeks. And this was great because we got rid of the, the items that we no longer needed and we also made a good amount of money doing it. So selling unnecessary items is something that I would recommend so that your space doesn't become overly cluttered and you can also make a good amount of side income at the same time. The next tip is to treat your credit card like it's a debit card. So I personally am not against using credit cards, but you have to use them wisely because the truth is that credit card companies are just hoping and praying that consumers will max out their cards and then they won't be able to make the payment off in full at the end of the month and the credit card companies will end up profiting from the high interest debt. Don't let that happen to you. Treat your credit card as if it's a debit card and make an agreement with yourself to not spend any more money than you can actually pay off in full at the end of each month. This will save you tons of money as you won't have to pay off high interest debt. Going off of that, the next habit is to keep track of your credit score. So as you probably know, credit scores are very important because they touch very many areas of our lives. Your credit score can influence your loan eligibility and uh, many employers will often check the credit score of potential employees during the hiring process. You wanna make sure that you're keeping up with your credit score so that you can make any adjustments to raise it up. I'm able to check my credit score through my banking apps and I check it weekly, if not daily. Um, but if you don't have the option of checking through your bank apps, you can use free websites like Credit Karma or Experian to keep up with your credit score. 
And to wrap this all up, remember that it's the daily habits and steps that you take that will really make an impact in your finances this year. So be encouraged, you can do this. And next, click the video on the screen to hear about eight simple and practical frugal living tips to help you save money in 2023. Thanks for watching.